Steroids continue to be a hot topic in the world of professional sports. Our next guest is here to show us healthy ways to bulk up without the juice. Former medical correspondent right here on Fox and Friends and author of Extreme Muscle Enhancement, Carlin Coker, is here. Good to see you, sir. Look, if your goal, though, is to just become the most powerful athlete you can become, you're saying you don't need steroids to do that? You know, you don't need steroids to do that, and it goes back to the cradle of bodybuilding, because all the athletes look back to bodybuilding and say, how do I build muscle? How do I build strength? How do I get huge? How do I improve my performance? So we learn from bodybuilders. In the book, Extreme Muscle Enhancement talks about all the things that bodybuilders do, the training, the diet and the drugs that they use, the drugs that they abuse, and the ways that they try to get around drug tests and all that stuff. So it's basically, a, it's all the truth. And you know, you win people over and get them on the right track by giving them the truth. Yeah, and you look great, obviously, without the use of steroids. Yeah. But you also talk about how widespread this is. I was yeah. surprised golfers, yeah. professional golfers yeah. are taking steroids. It was steroids. interesting. You're exactly right. Uh, recently, even a professional golfer uh, came forward and talked about the prevalence of steroids in that sport because I'm asked regularly, uh, well, how, how prevalent do you think it is? And I, it's, I think it's, it goes across every sport. It really does. But, Doctor, you're concerned that we're focusing too much on professional sports because this really has caught on at the high school level, something I was aware of, but I didn't know it was as widespread as you, as you believe. It's very widespread. And actually, if we're really, really worried about uh, something, we're worried about our young people. And what we want to do is we want to go after those people, give, give them a positive message, give them an understanding, give them the truth, and then let them make a decision. I don't think you can walk away from reading Extreme Muscle Enhancement without saying, you know what, I don't think steroids are a good idea, and at the same time, I give the tools, the training tools, the diet tools, the dietary supplements, the things that they need to do naturally to achieve the kind of physique that they want okay, to achieve. Okay, now it's such a competitive world, and I know anecdotally I've heard stories of high schoolers, boys and girls, who want to be the best on their teams sure. so they can get into college and get a good yeah. scholarship. What are some signs that parents yeah. should look for? And yeah. tell us also some of the long-term effects of this. Abuse. You know, look, I'm, as a parent, I can tell you, you know, as far as I'm concerned, if you're a child living under my roof, then I'm going to go into everything. I'm going to look in your drawers. I'm going to know. I, I mean, that's just the way I am. I think parents really have to be honest on top of everything that their kids are doing. So number one, you know, uh, anything is fair game. That's what I tell parents. The other thing is, is, you know, have a very open communication with your kids so that you can talk about these things. And when a book like this comes along, hey, there's really neat pictures in here and there's all this stuff, but you know what, read it and get the truth, you know, and, and understand what you could be doing to your body before you do it. What are some symptoms a parent can look for? Moodiness well, or? I think, you know, aggressiveness. I mean, that's a big one. Um, you know, anabolic steroids are, are are not going to make you psychotic. It's not going to make you lose your mind, but it could make you, it could shorten your fuse and make you a lot more irritable. So that one might be a first early sign. Again, if your goal though is to be the fastest athlete you can be, in this day and age, I mean, can you be the fastest person on earth without taking steroids? You know, it's tough to say. I think uh, you can be, but you really have to be a very gifted athlete and you have to really train perfectly because right now you have standards that have been set by individuals that probably were abusing steroids at some point or another in a number of different sports. Track and field is probably the one you're alluding to. Those who take steroids, are they taking it as a shortcut or are they taking it, are they already exercising as much as they possibly can and this is going right. to give them the, the added it depends advantage. yeah it depends on the individual athlete I mean you know look the real benefit of steroids is doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to swing your bat any mm -hmm. faster or uh, drop the basketball into the hoop anymore but what it's going to do is it's going to improve your recovery so it's the biggest effect is on the training it will improve that training you won't get injured as much you will have uh, you know you won't have downtime well, and are, that's these, where you start to pick are, up the the positive, the natural, well, well that are so, that are so seductive it's, to people. It's, it's, it's the seduction, exactly, and that's how they outpace the natural athlete. But and there's so much that is not seductive about using well, steroids. Yeah, just erectile absolutely. dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction, gynecomastia, which What's is a that? medical condition where, of the growth of, of female breast tissue in the male body, and it really has to be surgically corrected. I see it a lot with can become more masculine. Well, the, the terrible thing about with women is that most of the side effects are irreversible in women. So once women develop an Adam's apple or or develop a big chin and all that stuff. It's irreversible. Nothing seductive so. about breasts on a man or an Adam's apple. On a <laughs> not Definitely to me, not. no. All right, sir. Thank Dr. Carl thank you very much. Good thank to see you. you. And there's the book again, thank Extreme so Muscle Enhancement. Great book. Thank you so much. Thanks.